In the last presentation, we completed LCM and HCF of fractions. In this lecture, we will find out LCM and HCF of polynomials. I have two problems and we will start with problem number one. Find LCM and HCF of polynomials x square minus 5x plus 6 and x square minus 7x plus 10. We have two quadratic equations and we have to factorize them. I hope you know how to factorize quadratic equations. If you don't know, I will upload a separate presentation on this. HCF sometimes called as GCD, the abbreviation for greatest common divisor or GCM, the abbreviation for greatest common measure. So don't confuse yourself with GCD and GCM, they are nothing but HCF. Let's start with solution. The first polynomial is x square minus 5x plus 6 and I can write it as x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x I can take x common from first two terms so I will have x minus 2 I can take minus 3 common from last two terms so I will have x minus 2 x minus 2 is common so we have x minus 2 x minus 3 so this is what we have after factorizing this quadratic equation now we will move to second polynomial x square minus 7x plus 10 I can write it as x square minus 2x minus 5x plus 10 minus 2x minus 5x is minus 7x I can take x common so we have x minus 2 from here I will take minus 5 common and finally we can take x minus 2 common okay so this is what we have after factorizing the second quadratic equation now we will find out LCM and HCF using the prime factorization method in prime factorization method LCM is equal to product of factors with highest index so we have to first find out factors factors are x minus 2 x minus 3 and x minus 5 x minus 2 x minus 3 and x minus 5 these are the factors and uh, we have to multiply them and you can clearly see the index for x minus 2 the highest index for x minus 2 is 1 in both the cases so I have taken x minus 2 x minus 3 there is only one x minus 3 with index 1 so we have x minus 3 and x minus 5 is also having index 1 so we have x minus 5 so this is the LCM for the given polynomials and we can find out HCF by using the prime factorization method and HCF is equal to product of common factors with least index so first thing that we have to do is to find out common factors and in this case we have x minus 2 as the common factor and index of x minus 2 is 1 so simply HCF for these two polynomials is x minus 2 so LCM is x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 5 and HCF is x minus 2 this is our answer now we will move to problem number two we have two polynomials again and we have to find out LCM and HCF x plus 3 6x square plus 5x minus 4 and 2x square plus 7x plus 3 x plus 3 we have to factorize them and we will start with the first polynomial x plus 3 6x square plus 5x minus 4 I can write 6x square plus 5x minus 4 as 8x minus 3x minus 4 2x I will take common from first two terms this will give me 3x plus 4 I will take minus 1 common from last two terms three x plus four is common so finally factors are x plus three two x minus one 
3x plus 4 so these are the factors of first polynomial now we will move to second polynomial 2x square plus 7x plus 3 x plus 3 we will factorize 2x square plus 7x plus 3 7x can be written as 6x plus x and uh, from first two terms we can take 2x common and this will leave us x plus 3 and from the last two terms I will take 1 common so finally we are having 2x plus 1 and x plus 3 x plus 3 or I can write 2x plus 1 x plus 3 raised to power 2 we have calculated the factors of given polynomials and now we will find LCM of the two polynomials LCM is equal to product of factors with greatest index so first thing that we have to see is the factors x plus 3 2x minus 1 3x plus 4 from here we are having 2x plus 1 we were having 2x minus 1 now we have 2x plus 1 and x plus 3 we already have x plus 3 but here index is 2 and in this case index is 1 so we have to involve the factor with greatest index so I have to take x plus 3 raised to power 2 so this is the LCM now we will calculate HCF in HCF we have to take product of common factors with least index if I compare the two results x plus 3 is the only common factor so x plus 3 and if I talk about the index we have 1 as the index and 2 as the index and out of 1 and 2 we have to select the least index so definitely x plus 3 raised to power 1 is the answer this is all for this presentation if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section